Hi, this is Audrey Whittington and I'm with Realtor.com and today we're going to be talking about the home buying process from A to Z. So we are fortunate today to be joined by Heather and Steve Ostrom uh, with Cobble Banker who have been in the industry for how long? Over 17 years. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a lot of transactions under your belt. Yep. So in some of the other series we've talked about first time home buyers and what's involved with those folks. Today let's back it up and just talk a little generally about how do I know what to look for? I mean, how do I, do I start with my needs versus wants mm -hmm. list? I mean, kind of get into that a little bit. Always, it's good to have a checklist and to always be redoing your checklist as you go. Okay. And one of my favorite things actually is when the buyer sends me their list, I can kind of do a quick glance over, know what's available in our area. So we can like decipher like, is that attainable mm -hmm. for their price bracket? Right. There's a lot of good things and I think you can never have too much communication as far as with yeah. home, first time home buyers. Oh, and it's important to verbalize to us what you're looking for because that makes it easier to find what you're looking for. And, you know, and, I, and I also want to tell you about my timing, right? Yeah. So I've made a list of my needs and wants, but I'm also looking about timing. Yeah, so talk important. a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, timing, you want to know when you, you need to be in the next place. If there's a certain time you want to be in by the school year, what right. that is, so we can work backwards and go, if you want to be in by this, we need to start looking here, get yeah. into escrow by there. Right. So it's important the timing throughout the process. Or how long I'm going to be in the house. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, because that's going to decipher whether, like, is it important for me to be mindful that I might have to recoup the costs of the sale? Right. Yeah. If you're only going to be in there yeah. two to three years for maybe a job relocation, I mean, obviously you can't predict what's going to exactly. happen. But if this is your forever home, I think things change and soften a little bit. Yeah. I think that's a fair statement. I moved into my first home, it was pretty small. Uh, we had a couple of kids, and then came the third, and well, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. so, you know, if you had asked me, I don't know if I would have said that I was going to yeah. be in exactly. the house for yeah. 30 years. Yeah. So that's actually another point because I don't think I was thinking about resale value mm -hmm. exactly. when I was. So talk to me a little bit about resale value. Um, how easy it is to, to resell it. A lot of it has to do with the area that you're in. Mm. The commute time to the down, you know, to your, to your work and most people's works. Uh, changes in the area too of new jobs coming in can affect your resale Schools. value. Schools. Yeah, if you're backed up to a busy yeah. street, there's a lot of different variables you need to consider. But I also think there are people that are mindful, like this is my stepping stone home. This isn't yeah. my final mm -hmm. home but I want to gain equity. So it's important to have this dialogue with yeah. us so we know that we can fine tune your home purchase to your needs and yeah. your future needs. Yeah. So things like, you guys have touched on things like parking, like mm -hmm. I might not need parking uh, maybe if I don't have kids, but maybe I might yeah. need parking if yeah. I do, yeah. or if I have pets, whatever your personal situation yeah. is. So, and something like safety, what about safety? I mean. It's important and you should, you should definitely research the area. Check yeah. the different websites, the local ones for crime trackers. A lot of the like agents that. can't, we can't really get touch on yeah. that area too much. Yeah. So, but that is important for the buyer to do their own research yeah. as far as does this home fit into the criteria as far as like, there's a lot of great local websites as far as they're usually tied into like TV stations yeah. that you can kind of figure out, is this neighborhood a good solution yeah. for me? So hey, the statistics are out there. Yes. The statistics are out there. And then it's also a good time to look at the house at different times of the day. Yeah, uh, you know, oh, that's a great evening, point. The different times. You're going to see if they're at the next door neighbor's the party house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's like a lot that. of things that you don't figure out or the dogs barking in during the day and you're a, you're a daytime worker. There's a lot of physical workings of the neighborhood that you're going to yeah. figure out by visiting at different times yeah. of the day okay, and the week. Good. That helps. And now one of the things that really I think is a huge factor, especially for kind of, uh, I hate to say the millennials, it's such an overused mm -hmm. term, yeah. but what about pets? Millennials mm -hmm. love their pets. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> but knowing where the dog parks are and knowing where walking trails are is a big deal too, because you want to know where those things are for the house. Yeah. The, the and function. it's just like, a, how close is the grocery store? Yeah. As far as uh, other sidewalks, there's a lot of different variables as far as like, with their pets, that they want to take their pets different places, yeah. and also just, is there enough space in the backyard? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got safety, we've got timing, we've got location, we've got also the size of the property. Yeah. Like, is there like downstairs bedroom? Exactly. Kind of, why is that important? Um, because as you age, sometimes people have problems getting up the stairs, mm. they have a bad leg, that it's nice to have one bedroom downstairs. Or there's an injury. Two like, yeah. that's a, a lot of times we've had buyers or current owners discover Gosh, I'm really bummed. I had to sleep on my couch because yeah. they didn't have a downstairs bedroom. Yeah. I mean, it's not a make or break for everyone, but it's something to consider on resale value. Yeah. 
Wow, that's super helpful. I did not think of that at all. So, and I don't think I've had a downstairs bedroom. So, <laughs> hey, it didn't bother you. you know, yeah. It doesn't bother me, but there are a lot of buyers that specifically target that to criteria. No, I yeah. think I wish I had had one, yeah. actually. <laughs> so, and I think that that also goes into expanding the house, right? Yeah. So, knowing whether or not you can expand yeah. or yeah. if you're really just limited, so you know you're only going to be there a certain yeah. period of time. Yep. Um, all right, well, that's super helpful. Well, thank you for joining us. This is Audrey Whittington. Uh, with Realtor.com discussing the home buying process. We hope you'll check out some of our other videos.